is marriage. Marriage. Mm. Like I said in that chapter I read, is ordained by God. It's the coming together of a man and a woman. Mm. Like the Bible says, that the man will leave his home and his family and cleave together with the woman. It is a union of companionship. It's a wholeness. It's a spiritual relationship. That's why it's ordained. Everything about it, it's actually spiritual. You can imagine you meet a woman today, you like her, you bring her into your home. If, for instance, you're not meant to be, there will be problems every mm. day. Mm. But, let me use our local language, if you shine your eyes mm. and you look deeply and God helps you, you pick the right woman, you'll be happy all the days of your life. Now, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, in the fold of your book, in fact, let me read from it. Emeka Rizzi says, A happy marriage has in it all the pleasures of friendship, yeah. loving efforts, acts of togetherness, and above all, a window of great opportunities for the innovation of divine essence, encapsulated in the scripture's ordination of sex as an imperative of marriage. What then happens to some of us who get married for other reasons apart from love, apart from commitment? Probably we're getting married because societal pressure, um, status. You're the daughter, you're a princess, I'm a prince, and for that reason, we must come together. I'm, I'm a scion, I am a son of the owner of a conglomerate. You understand? And for us, you, your dad also is as rich as that, so we must come together for the money. What then happens to that kind of marriage? Already, from the beginning of the day they consummated it, they have created the end of the marriage. In other words, in other words, they plan to fail. They plan already to fail from the beginning. One, you cannot find happiness in that home. Hmm. It's a home where you find, in fact, problems. I've seen marriages where only the man and the woman only discuss when they want um, to do things for the children. Hmm. You know, they want to itemize, they want to buy school books, they want to do this, they want to do that. That is not marriage. It's better you are living in a face you and face you and um, face me hmm. with your hmm. partner. It's hmm. not marriage. It's not marriage. How do we get to a point? There's a part where you talked about that. Hmm. But how do we we didn't start this way. We didn't. We started well. We started well. What happened? Oh, we thought we started well. Oh, you know why I said that? Two different things. Oh, yes. Because in the days of our parents, well, young, right? Hmm. The tradition made it in such a way that a woman had her place. Hmm. The man is the lord of the house. Hmm. The woman is totally submissive, culturally and traditionally. Mm. And they used to say that maybe it's the best time. It's not. They used to sneak up and down to do funny, funny things, even then. Mm. Right? Mm. But from that time till now, that tradition, it still extends in a way to present day. Because that's why mothers will not tell their daughters that this is how you manage your husband when you get into marriage. Okay, now let, let me get some things very straight. Yes. Is it that what you painted, is it that it's wrong? It is wrong for you not to school your child that you are sending forth to marriage. No, what I'm saying is, mm. I mean, what you painted that the man is supposed to be the lord of the manor and all of it. Correct. Is it wrong? It is not wrong. So, it is not wrong. Where are we because getting the, it wrong? The Bible says that the man is the head of the home. And somehow that's what they were practicing then. But what is wrong about that scenario is the, the woman has no say. There's no say to this thing. Mm. You understand? Mm. For instance, the woman will just lie down there. The man just has his time, enjoys himself. He fetches from that fountain without giving back. And she cannot say anything. But you know, 
are you are we trying to say that of course we've seen that we've learned that with mm-hmm. over time mm-hmm. but are we trying to say that there was a time when there was no love well you don't use the word that there was no love because initially when they come together there might not be love and as they continue to be together mm, mm. as companions fondness enters inside mm. friendship also comes to play mm. and apparently love. you're talking about the days of where is her photograph uh-huh. go and find out photo about the family marriage. exactly we call it photo marriage mm. so love now creeps in for some it creeps in for some it never does mm, and they will just manage and you start hearing things if not for my children mm. i would have left mm. there's a story i heard that the woman said she stayed on she kept finding her husband with other women on their matrimonial bed but where will she go and she stayed on no but that shouldn't happen thank you but that's them that's them but let me shock you mm-hmm. if i'm to shock you i'll tell you that it's still happening tonight i mean to up to, it's, to 2020 yes it does it does and it shouldn't one of the reasons i wrote this book is that if we can understand this aspect it might not happen mm. for a man who the wife satisfies very well he won't go out except he's a gluten mm. or he's just can't be satisfied and he, i mean he got both, both ways both so. ways yes if you are properly satisfied it will be difficult for you to be looking for one baby in a yoke outside 